What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play Quantum Conundrum. In the last episode, we completed the Yellow Wing. In this episode, we're going to start the Red Wing, so let's go. Fortunately, or maybe unfortunately, you're heading closer to the New Technologies Lab. Perhaps cool. you might come across some clues to help me piece together this quandary. This quantum quandary, perhaps? I don't know. It doesn't have the same ring as Quantum Conundrum. Ah, uh, yes. This is the last in a continuous series of associated dimensions. As you can see, the gravitational pull in this dimension is directly in opposition to our customary one. Cool, so reverse gravity we have going on here. I like that a lot, actually. Look out! Reverse gravids in slow-mo I could see working together almost seamlessly, so that should be interesting. Do you suppose that the gravitational bodies that influence this dimension are different? Or is the manor, in fact, built upside down? Under that. I vaguely remember an IDS receptacle mounted somewhere on the second story. Yeah, I highly doubt you built your uh, your mansion upside down, sir. That would be kind of absurd. Oh, hi, Ike. Ah, there's our little friend. All right, cool. So I don't have access to this battery, but we have Desmond. And oh, wow! I didn't even notice that the first time. But the liquid inside Desmond gets reversed when the gravity does. That is a really, really nice touch. That's like attention to detail right there. That is pretty cool. I will say that for sure. And whoa, okay, all right. Watch out for those platforms. You certainly got rather adroit. Watch out for these platforms when the gravity shifts. Not a good thing. Oh, okay. And they're like backwards platforms too. Oh, and we have a fluffy battery. Cool. All right, uh, let's see what this does, I guess. I believe that opened the hatch over there. Right, cool, and now we have access to the safe. So, uh, let's just bring it over here, I guess. No! Actually, that worked out the way I wanted to, never mind. Good job, self. I don't know how I managed to do that. <laughs> I bet you wanted me to do that, huh? Mad scientist, crazy evil laugh. <laughs> no, that was good, dude. You had me going there for a second. Good job, I... Uh, that was a good laugh. There should be another drinking bird. I mean, periodic articulating gruy day in that room influencing this area. I believe that you'll have to wrap around this room to get through. Cool. So we have some some safe platforming. I like this. I like this. I hopefully uh, we get access to this dimension ourselves later on. Why is there a safe back there? Is there a secret, perhaps? I don't know. I shall go explore. It doesn't look like it. Maybe just if you over jump it or something like that. That's unfortunate. So. Can I be perfectly honest here? I really have no idea why I set this area up. I'm assuming that there's only four blueprints in this game, then, and that would represent the um, the four dimensions. Oh, hey, look, there's an awkward noise machine in there. Cool. So I'm assuming that I've missed two of them, found the third one, and then there's the fourth one that I'm going to see sooner or later. So I'm guessing this is how I get that awkward noise machine. Hang on. Wait for the dimensions to flip, and let's get over there quickly. I totally screwed that up. Good job. I totally planned it like that. Not. Alright. Let's, uh, let's try this again. Let's fail this time. I don't want to rush it too much. It sounds like a hawk. At really? Come on now. Stop missing easy jumps. Let's go. Yeah, it sounds exactly like a... Alright, I don't even know what happened there. That was just... That was just phys... I blame the physics engine on that one. Sounds exactly like a hawk, so that's cool, I guess. Alright, let's get over here quickly. Do not change. Do not change. Thank you. And let's get over there now. Yes! So majestic. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Cool. So, like... Like I was saying, there, there is something that I don't like about this game, and it's the fact that it takes it a long time to introduce a new element. Like, I'm gonna guess that we are probably in the last area of the sort of house, and this is the last sort of dimension that they're gonna introduce us to. So, you'd think At by this now. At point, you have traveled further into the manor than any other family member has in the last two decades. Cool. So, like I was saying, you think by now that they would sort of, um,. Just sort of give it to us and have us go at it ourselves because we get the general basis of the game already. I can't say that'll happen again anytime soon. Can I get a plaque or something for that? Like, traveled the most around the house in two decades? That'd be a cool plaque to have. I think you should give me that. Lament of the flightless bird. Alright, let's see what we have. Safe. Oh, it seems as if the timer on Desmond doesn't have the duration that you'll need. 
Right, okay, but I can actually have access to this and just stick it in here, and now I can make it stay up there as long as I want. Cool! Alright, that was easy enough. And let's see what you're going to give me. A box, which is now on the ceiling. That's a good place for it. No, yeah, that's totally, that's totally a good place for it. Um, oh, okay, right, so I need to get this heavy battery. If only there was something to press that for you. Dang it. All right, you know what? I'm not getting the bird. I could totally make this without getting the bird. As a rule, don't look directly into his eyes. Trust See? Me. I told you I didn't need the stupid bird. Um, okay, so do I swap out the batteries? Um, no, I can't swap out the batteries because that safe needs to be there. But I can stick this in here, and now I'm stuck. There we go. And now I should have access to this, uh to this box and heavy dimension, so hopefully there we go. All right, cool. That worked out as I planned. Some event must have occurred to cause me to be transported to this pocket dimension. If only I could remember what. I don't know, dude. Not sure at all. When I came here, just all sorts of crap was going on. My headache is getting a little better, although I still have a rather large lump on my skull. And I did lose my luggage, but then Ike found it, so maybe my luggage went to the same limbo dimension as you, and then Ike brought it back. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe. Alright, let's see what we have going on in here. Did that... Is it going? There it goes. Oh, I don't know. That door took an oddly long amount of time to open oh, up. Oh, in case you don't see it, there's an electrical converter on the ceiling that needs to be pressed. You know, I question why you would even, like, put that there. Ooh, I hear another awkward noise machine, actually, too. Um, yep. There it is, behind me. See, I love my headphones, because I can sort of, like, hear everything that's going on around me. That's what's good about having, like, some quality I headphones. I can't believe my memory hasn't returned yet. Alright, so what I'm going to do is go grab this awkward noise machine first. This puzzle doesn't seem too hard, actually. All I should really have to do is, um, put this up here and then ride that to the top. So let's just go get the machine first. And I'm gonna need to move this. It sounds like a cow. I don't know why it's a cow, but let's grab it. It was a cow. Cool. All right. Um, let's just go set up for the rest of the puzzle, I guess, then, and just solve it. Cause there's really there's not much going on here, to be honest. This was this was kind of a simple puzzle, which is interesting, cause it's the first puzzle that they sort of let us use um, slow mo on completely by ourselves. So that's kind of, I don't know, simple, I guess. I kind of wish, like, again, that's another complaint I have with this game, is I kind of just wish that, um, they wouldn't give you, like, these introductory puzzles. They would just give you, um, harder ones right off the bat, because we're so far into the game already, and this is a loading room if I ever saw one. Anyone who's played Metroid Prime, you recognize this type of room right here. This two-door room, the loading room. The greatest puzzle in the world, Tribute. Alright, so let's see what you do. And you just fling a safe across the room. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, I need at least two safes or two of something. There is a reverse grab battery in here, so let's grab that. Seems like a good idea. Okay, I really need to, like, sort of... I used to somewhat like you. What do you mean, somewhat? You hated me this entire time. You don't even want me here. Hey, what? Wait. Where did the battery go? How did... What? That was really absurd. I don't even know what just happened. It was sort of just like hovering there. I'm gonna say that was a glitch. <laughs> that was really, really strange. Alright, um... So there's a second safe that I need. Oh, and there's an energy converter up there, so I guess... Let's head on up. And see what's over there. Crap, I'm an idiot. How'd I am stupid? Let's do this... Let's put this here closer so I can actually grab it without falling off. There we go. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Sometimes I get the strangest feelings that they might be sentient. I don't even know what you're talking about, sir. If you maybe want to elaborate or fill me in at some point, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Um, now, here's a question. Do I really want to go all the way back up there to grab another safe, or should I just use this chair here? I think I'm gonna use this chair here because I don't really feel like getting that safe again And it's kind of a waste of time when I could just use a chair and it'll do the same thing So why not? 
Voila! There we go. I engineered a completely seedless strawberry once. I hated getting the seeds stuck between my teeth. Oddly enough, that has never happened to me. So, I don't know what that sort of feels like. I have fond memories of this room when I was about your age. It used to be the parlor. Oh well. Ike is precocious sometimes, much like yourself. Go Ike, work it man, work off those pounds. Ooh, a box is coming. And I reverse grab and heavy. Alright, I'm gonna try something really, really mean here. I'm gonna see if I can slam this box down on Ike's face. Hang on. This is really cool, I can actually like hover things sort of in the air. Okay, that that didn't work out any. Okay. No, hang on. I put those belts there for a reason. Just think about it. Right. Okay. Things act really strangely in sort of uh, reverse grab. They sort of just move around and bounce around all crazy, like so. You can probably use that to your advantage to sort of get to. Um, oh, nice. Extra things, I would guess. Not. Hard. Dude, you should just get used to it at this point. I'm gonna have to break some glass to get things done. Alright, now... Something tells me that there's a secret on top of these sort of conveyor belts, so let me try and get one of these safes down so I can sort of ride it. So I'm gonna sort of abuse the physics engine here to just try and get one of these safes to an area where I can actually access it. Come on. You know you want to. Oh, now there's two of them. Hopefully I can... Come on now. <laughs> this is not gonna work, is it? Maybe I should go, like, actually stand over here and sort of just look out or something. Ooh, I hear something, actually, I do. Oh, right there. Okay, that was easy. Easy enough, I suppose. Ike's a sneaky one, isn't he? I didn't even see that one. He hides things rather well, I will give him that. So there's probably nothing up there then, although that would be a really good place to put something. But I don't think we can get up there anyways, um... You should perhaps place something in there. Like this convenient box that just randomly appeared. Let's do that then. Cool! Alright, um... Let's see, what do I need to do here with this box? Alright, so I need to make it go across all of these conveyor belts and onto that little energy converter right there. This is actually very similar to a mission in the Portal 2 co-op, actually. Um, I know there's a mission where you and a co-op partner have to sort of work together and raise and lower platforms to access a cube, I believe. And this is, uh, this is what it reminds me of, actually, except there's only one person here instead, and it's a lot easier since now I don't have the temptation to kill my partner. I am a very, very mean co-op partner in that game. I just like to, like, to set you up for failure. I know, like, the whole purpose of the game is to work together, but I just like to, to set my partner up for failure. Oh, crap! Well, that certainly was not what I wanted to happen at all. Um, where do I get another box now? <laughs> oh, and a safe did fall. Are you kidding me? All right, you know, we're riding it. We're, we are going to ride this safe up to the top. Hang on. Or not at all, because it just completely disappeared now. That's cool. I'll take that. All right, can I get a box? Can I just get, get one box? That's all I need. And uh, hopefully it won't just randomly disappear. Maybe I should, like, reset the game after this, because there seems to be a lot of strange things going on. Boxes appearing randomly, things disappearing randomly, and then sort of batteries hovering in midair. I don't even know what's going on. Possibly a glitch. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just hopefully get through this one episode, or the rest of this episode at least, without anything screwing up too bad. That would be kind of terrible if my game just screwed up and I had to reinstall it at this point. I would be devastated, honestly. Almost there. Come on, box. Go a little bit faster. We can do this. I believe in you. The physics engine is actually really, really strange in this game. It uses the Unreal Engine, for those of you wondering. But uh, it's, it seems to be, I don't know, odd. Perhaps it's just the way the Unreal Engine works. I'm not entirely sure. I, haven't, I don't know if I play any Unreal games that often, actually. And please work. There we go. That is what I wanted you to do. Thank you very much. Good going on reverse engineering that. Oh, I see what you did there. That was Science clever. It's quite an amazing substance, you know. This is a really cool. In addition to being a fuel source, it's also a superconductor and amplifier of energy frequencies. Just a small amount infused with dimensional extract can build enough energy to power the IDS device receptacles. 
Cool. You should sell that stuff, dude. I'm telling you, it'll be worth a fortune. Oh, yes. <laughs> this area unfortunately flooded a few weeks ago. You'll need to go all the way around. Right, but we're going to get to that in the next episode. So once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys later.